Um, ladies and gentlemen, Matt Lucas is in the house. Hey, how's it going, Robert? And massive Arsenal fan, Matt. Thank you very much for coming on, mate. Oh, much appreciated. Are you in the UK or are you over in the States? I'm in London and I want to give a shout out to my brother Howard because I know he's watching because he's he's a gooner like me. And oh, brilliant. Uh, brilliant. To matches together, yeah. yeah. And doing? he's a big fan of you. He's a big fan of you back your music career and everything. <laughs> he's very excited that I'm talking to you. Back in the day, back in the day, Matt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on with the world, man? I mean, the whole thing's gone upside down, isn't it? Just slightly, yeah. It's really weird. And do you know what the weirdest thing of all is? And don't shoot me. Don't hate me. I'm a gooner and I am, you know, I get up every morning usually. And the first thing I do, I go onto Sky Sports and see the headlines before I even get out of bed. And I'm weirdly not missing football right now. Isn't that weird? Wow. I don't know. You know, I, 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 and I think there's quite a few. I was speaking to a friend of mine who works at the FA and I said, I feel really weird saying this. I'm not missing. I'm not missing football. I said, it might be because I'm. I'm Arsenal and we're having one of our worst seasons <laughs> in, in, in living memory. But nonetheless, I said, I don't, I don't think I'm massively missing it right now. And, yeah. um, and uh, he said, you know what? A lot of footballers are saying that themselves, that they're not missing it. They, the actual they're players. The, yeah, the actual players are saying that. Yeah, yeah. But wow, I mean, yeah. I think if I was a Liverpool fan and I was you know, waiting to win the league, <laughs> yeah, I might be saying something else. I might be saying, this is driving me mad, you know, but. I, mean, I think it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a relief not to have to watch us play, isn't it? Don't you think? <laughs> you know what what you, what you just said there, right? There's been a few Arsenal fans that have come on today and said that, mm. but then the contrast is when I've had Liverpool fans on today, they are missing yeah. it badly and they want it. I had a Leicester fan on earlier; he's missing it badly because they were having the season brilliant season as well. I can I've got a Leeds fan coming on in the morning. I know he'll be missing it. I mean, for those guys that they had all to play for they're missing it for us like you said worst season for oh i can't remember <laughs> it's terrible isn't it it has been pretty rotten i mean we were actually we were starting to do a bit better and you know when people said oh you, you ain't getting champions league i was like oh, well we might actually we might don't completely write us off you know it's still within our sights but um I think that that might be that might be why. Although I haven't really enjoyed all this stuff about um, Aubameyang leaving. It's always the captains, isn't it? Whoever becomes a captain, they're either injured yeah. or or somebody somebody taps them up. But it's been that it's been that way for years, hasn't it, with us? Do you um, reckon? He'll, or do you reckon he'll go? Sorry? Because do you reckon I, he'll I do you reckon he'll go or stay? I, you know, I would have said I would have said definitely go. I would have said definitely go because he, he'll want to win medals. And also, also, you know, uh, Arsenal, there are clubs that pay more money than Arsenal. I think he could go to a club where he's more likely to win medals and earn more money. But this pandemic thing, who knows? It's, we're, who knows? Who, who can say? He might just think, you know what? I, I, I've got my home here. My family's here. You know, the fans know me, love me. Do I want to take a risk? Because all these, I mean, I, I, I'm of the mindset. I, I don't know if, if I don't believe this, they're going to be playing football again in, in, in a month or whatever, or six weeks. I think, I think, uh, I think football only really makes sense when there's people there. I really do. And, and, and until we have a vaccine, I don't think we can have football. And even I a really vaccine don't. that has to be rolled out. To, yeah. and, and I heard someone saying um, a, a true point that was saying this: it's not like you just roll the vaccine like 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 Ebola, where you just roll it out to you know a certain country. This has got to be rolled out to the whole world. The this whole world, a, yeah. So a pandemic. Do you want to watch football behind closed doors? I mean, the only I was thinking about it because I was thinking, well, what would you have to do? You'd have to take all the players away from their families. That's not very nice for them. You'd have to take them all away from their families and have them living on compounds like where, where, um, because it's not enough not to have symptoms. Mm. You need to actually not have this thing. They're, they're, they're two different things because plenty of people have this thing even though they don't have symptoms. So mm. you've got to take people away from their families. You've got to isolate them for a long period of time. Um, you've got to be test really strict. Not, sorry? You've got to test them all. Test them all. Uh, and then you've got to also have the staff, the the all, all, all the all the um, 
you know, the, 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 the other coaches and, and all the, you know, all the other staff. I mean, there's, there's hundreds of hundreds of people that work mm. at Arsenal, right? So you've got to have them and, and then you still got to have uh, <coughs> press there as well. I'm assuming the media mm. camera crews, you'll have to cover it on camera. You could have, you could have a premier league match every night of the week and two on Saturdays and two on Sundays or whatever. And, and, and you could play, you could play, uh, you know, 10, all, all 10 games. I don't mm. know. I mean, I mean, you could do it. You could, you could broadcast every game, but with no crowd there, with no atmosphere. It's not, it's somebody not said today, no, somebody said today uh, that they were talking about playing matches that were 35 minutes in each half because of the, because of the number of games that the players would mm. have to play in such a short space of time. Nobody wants to see that. No. Um, so it's, I mean, for me, it's like all or nothing. I don't want to see, look, if it was one game that you had to play behind closed doors, we'd all go fine. But mm. I don't want to see 10 Arsenal matches behind closed doors. Not really. I mean, I'm being selfish. Um, but uh, You're right. You know what? You're right. Because I remember, right? I'll give you an example here. I remember the when Arsenal played Olympiacos, right? And we went over there. And the, the most hostile place you could ever think to go to, right? And, you know, a very tough game. We did actually win that game. We, we won, lost the second leg, but a very tough place to go to. And then I contrast that with when when Wolves played them and Wolves beat them over there. No fans in there. It was like, it was like they were playing like a pub team because that team are driven on by the crowd. So I was just like, no, nah, it's, 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 it just doesn't sit. Like you said, one or two games, but... Ten games, Arsenal would have to play behind closed doors. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, and, and and everybody would have to. And then it's, I know Liverpool want to finish the league because they're going to win it, which I respect. But they don't want to win the league like that. You want to no. be able to go to you want to be able to go to the parade if you're a Liverpool fan. You, you want to be there. You want to be there when they win the league. How mm. are you going to How are you going to do that? I also think. Let's be honest. You, you know, are you telling me that if if there are football fans? who, if they know that their team is playing in that stadium, they're going to turn up anyway. They're definitely going to turn up anyway. I think thousands of people, if Liverpool are about to win the league, right, you telling me that thousands of Liverpool yeah. fans aren't just going to turn up outside that stadium? That's true. They've waited I don't mean, I'm not, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I'm, by the way, I'm not singling out Liverpool fans. I'm not bad-mouthing them or anything. You know, I totally respect yeah. that. I'm just saying, if we had waited 30 years to win the league, We'd all want to go. You want to like, be there, yeah. The, you want to be there. So, so, and and so, I mean, it's look. I, I work in the theatre, and my, um, you know, my friends who are actors are talking about oh, when they can go back, and, and I'm just thinking, well, how does this even work financially if, if people can't sit next to each other? Mm. You have to sell tickets at fifteen hundred pounds each to pay for. <laughs> I yeah. mean, because you, you can only sell every. 10th seat or something I mean it doesn't it just doesn't work I think I think it's possible that I mean this is the worst case scenario but I think it is possible that we may not have football for 18 months 18 months yeah because you've got to get a vaccine and you've got to get the vaccine to everybody and and they they're saying that the vaccine won't be available till the autumn of next year to everybody I'm not talking about when the vaccine is created I'm talking about when the vaccine is has been tested, when it's been uh, uh, proven that it works, proven that it doesn't have dreadful side effects, when it's e it, that it's economically viable, you've then got to have a whole supply chain to manufacture it and get it out there. And and you've got to get that to how many people in the world? Nearly 8 billion now. I mean, Jeez. I don't know. I think, I think, the, I think the world is going to have a, is having a reset. And I mm. think we've not even scratched the surface. I think this is going to go on for a long, long, long time. You know, wow. they, they in the Second World War, they didn't have football for, what, six years, right? Yeah, yeah. That's they, they, just didn't have, they just didn't have it. And I think, I, think, I think we might not have football for 18 months. I really do. Wow. I really I, do. You know, I, I'm, I'm not sure because I just think the amount of money that's in, in football, somehow, I mean, you see even in America at the moment where um, they're trying to literally rush things back to get the economy going. I, I, I get the feeling that maybe football might try and do a similar thing, you know what I mean? And, you know, because if for 18 months, I mean, you you, you could be right. When you say, when well, you how break many people, it down like that. 
you know. How many people do you need to spread this virus? You need one person yeah. with this virus who isn't isolating to come into contact with one other person who isn't isolating. I mean, that's, I don't, I, I, it's, it's not a, I, you know, mm. the idea, the, <clears throat> excuse me, the idea that in three weeks time or four weeks time, people, ev everyone is just going back to work. And mm. I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm a doom monger. Maybe I'm pessimistic, but I also think the idea that, Oh, there's so much money in the game. You can't afford not to play these games. I still don't think it makes sense. I don't think you could. I know that the, I know the TV money is huge, but I don't know. Can you, but you still need box office revenue, right? Mm. You still, I mean, there's, there's still, I mean, when Arsenal left Highbury to come to the Emirates, what, 10, 12 years ago, they, they, they said right then and there, that, and this was back then at those prices, that they were going to make a million pounds more per game, you know? So, mm. so I don't think, I don't think everything works financially without people going to watch the match either. You yeah. still, you still need, do you see what I mean? That's, that's still a huge amount of revenue and program mm. sales and merchandise and all that stuff that isn't, that, that's, that, I, that's still, a, it's still a, a large amount of income that Massive the clubs aren't getting. Yeah. yeah. Hence what do you why, think, gonna, what do you think is going to happen? Well, hence like, you know, like what you said, right? That's why some players might be looking at things and saying to themselves, so, right now, let me just stick with security. I'm at a big yeah. club like Arsenal. You know, what I mean, they, they it's not like before, you know. What I mean, you got to, you've got to start thinking about security, you know. What I mean, so you might think what about Obama Young? Is what is he 31? So, yeah. or he's going to be 31, or he is 31, he's, he's approaching. Yeah. So, you know, he might want to stay at Arsenal because it might be a year or eight, it might be a year before he's playing again or 18 months. I think, I mean, there are players that there are players who are playing now, professional footballers, who this might go on 18 months, they might never play again. Yeah, it's true. Because they, they'd be at retirement age by then, you know, and, mm. and what it would take to get them fit again. And then and then also you've got players where their contracts are running out in the summer. And, you know, we, we're all talking about the big money guys, and, but there's a lot of players yeah. where their contracts run out in the summer. Clubs are skint at the moment. And they're going to be like, well, you know, we don't really want to take on nobody with no big wages. So it's a real uncertain time for even... Footballers who've been on 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 mega money. I mean, how how badly has it been affecting you with all the with all the acting and performing and everything like that? I mean, well, I was in uh, Chicago to do a, a TV pilot for Fox in America, mm. and um, it's a really funny script, a comedy drama. And I went out there. I was there for less than forty eight hours, and production was shut down. Um, and you know, Fox is owned by Disney, and mm. I think. I mean, I think they, they shut down. I think they made an executive decision and shut everything down. How has it affected me? Well, that will happen when I don't know. I mean, I mm. hope it happens at all. You know, I'd love to do it because it's a great script. Uh, I'm the new co-host of The Great British Bake Off. I know that that will happen. Mm. But uh, I don't know when. I mean, we will just follow government guidelines. When the government says it's safe to do so, we'll do it. I mean, I just, just literally thinking about that show, I suppose, if you, you make sure that all the bakers are you know a certain mm. amount away they're at least six feet away from each other i guess you probably could yeah. make that actually um but like the other thing i was going to do i was in i was in les miserables in a, a, a recently and mm. uh, we did this staged concert with michael ball and alfie bow and um it was a sellout in london and actually uh it's it's coming out for doubt people can download it from monday it's on, on amazon and sky and everything but but they're talking about doing an international tour of that at the end of the year so i'm assuming that that won't happen for a while um you know because because actually we talk about the theater theater tickets were expensive you know they're 60 70 80 pounds 100 pounds 150 pounds now and you think who's got that money also, the people that tend to have that kind of money are, are older people, mm. you know, and and, then, uh, and they're more at risk. Yeah. yeah. And even just the idea of actors on a stage together, almost everything you'll ever see in a theatre involves mm. characters kissing, love, falling in love, you know, being mm. having some kind of physical, you know, um, people being tactile with each other and, how do you do that? You know, how do you squeeze actors into dressing rooms? Those theatres are very yeah. cramped. Small, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so it's just not practical. So, 
I think, like I say, I do not think that theatre will happen until at the earliest. We're we're like a year away from theatre again, wow. as we as we know it now. Yeah, listen, Matt, it's been an absolute pleasure having you Thank on. You. Thank you very much, man. I re really appreciate you are coming. We, are we are we going? If if the league if the league is completed, are we getting Champions League or not, Robbie? Just before I go, I I, I think if City get that ban. And the fifth place is available. I think we yeah. could get, it. and I and I think that and, and I reckon they were going to get the ban. I they got a two year ban, and I think if anything, what they might have done, they might have reduced that to one year. I don't think they're going to get away with what I I sort of studied what they've done, and I don't think they're going to get away with it scot free. I think they'll get at least a part of that ban. Um, so I, I reckon, yeah, there's, I don't think we get top four, but I do think we could get fifth place, and I think fifth place could get us in. But if it's I mean, Europa it'll be, it'll be, it'll be, The Europa, I'm telling you this, right? We're better yeah. off. If we get in the Europa League, we are better off doing... We're better off just throwing it. Just exactly. doing everything we can. Be just nothing. playing the kids. Yeah, just... Yeah. We do not want to be in the Europa League. It's I don't even want to be in it again. I, I, I think I'd rather take time yeah. out. If you've looked out... Chelsea, when they won the league um, recently, Leicester, they weren't in those competitions. That's right. They were, they were able to just concentrate on the league. And I think I'll prefer that. And especially Definitely. now, who wants to be travelling all over the place? Yes, we years. don't need to be, to be yeah. going to split. Yeah, we don't. We don't. <laughs> Listen, Robbie, can I just say, before we go, congratulations yeah. on this. You raised over £11,000. That's amazing. Um, no. What a great thing to do. So congratulations. And, Thank um, you very much. We will meet again at the Emirates one day. We will. Definitely. I look forward to it, man. And keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank That's you. Matt. Lots of love. The coronavirus has not just affected the world of football, but has affected everybody. But you know what? We can defeat it. If you're displaying any of the symptoms, always make sure that you self-isolate. I know it's a terrible time, but we will defeat the coronavirus. We will be back.